There are some really nice React Native examples in the React Native GitHub repository. I refer to them regularly when I'm unsure of how to work with a specific component or API. I'd like to show you how to get the samples up and running on your machine so that you can refer to them if you get stuck. In Terminal, clone the React Native repository from GitHub by using the get clone command. Now we cd into this folder and then into the examples folder. Let's open that up with our text editor. As you can see, there are a number of different examples and I recommend that you go check them out for yourself. We're going to take a look at two of these apps, Movies and UI Explorer. Let's start with the Movies app. To open it up, we cd into the Movies folder and run the ls command to find the Xcode project file. We open the movies project from here using the open command. This launches a new instance of Xcode containing the source for the movies example app. Now this won't work, but I want to show you what can go wrong with React Native when you run a project and how to fix it. As you can see, the process that it kicks off is complaining about missing modules. And in the simulator, it complains about the node server not running. Okay, so how do we fix that? React Native uses npm for its dependencies, and it seems like we have a missing package. To fix that, we go back to the console and run npm i, which is short for npm install. This looks at the package.json file and installs all the required dependencies for us. Now that our packages are installed, let's try to run this again. You can see that the packager process was started successfully by this message over here, telling us that the React Packager is ready. The app is now loaded in the simulator and we can interact with it. It's a pretty simple app, but it does show you how to make calls to a server and bind the results to a list which is a very common thing to do in iOS apps. It also has an example of using the iOS navigator to have nested views displayed when you select a list item. We'll be doing all of this in our own sample app, so I won't be going into too much detail now. The most useful example app to look at is the UI Explorer app. Let's launch it from the command line quickly. We go up one folder and cd into it. We run the ls command again to find out what the Xcode project file is called. Now we've got the project file, we can open it up just like before. I want to show you something else that can go wrong. When we try and run this app, it gives us a bunch of errors. That's because we still have the other example project with its React Packager process running. Let me kill those quickly. I've found that it's best to kill the Xcode instance, the simulator, and the React Packager process running on the command line. And now when we try to run the UI Explorer app again, it works! This app is really nifty, because it demos all the components that you can use in React Native. You can play around with it in here, and then go have a look at the code to see how to do the same in your app. You can search for the control, and then select it from the control list to see the demo for it. This is the example for a simple list, and here's an example of a more complex list. I can't begin to tell you how useful this app was when I started looking at React Native. The documentation for React Native is excellent. Head on over to facebook.github.io forward slash react-native to go check it out. Here's a tutorial on how to build the movies app we looked at earlier. And for each component, you can read up on how it works and see the example. The same goes for APIs, React Native code that aren't controls, but used for various other concerns. I would also like to point out this section on styles. As not all CSS attributes are supported, you will need to come back here to check what is supported when you get stuck with layout and styling.